for the first version of uh, Knocking on Heaven's Door, very sort of Guns N' Roses-ish style. Um, just have a quick look at the chords. It's a G major. To a D major. To a C major. All open chords. If I swing around a little bit, hopefully you'll be seeing better. You can see that the G I'm doing is uh, what I call the full open G. Second finger on the third fret of your E string, first finger on the second fret of your A string, and then your third finger on the third fret of the B string, and your little pinky on the third fret of the top E string. Gives a nice, what well, I think it gives a lovely ring to it. So G major. Also what this does is it puts our third finger in the right position for when we go to the D chord. That can stay where it is. And we just pivot round that as a pivot point into the D chord. If you can see what I mean, it's a little bit hard to see, but there's a G. I'll try and get a bit closer for you. And then leaving that third finger on, you see that's still on. We pivot the first and this um, second finger down into the D shape. Okay, so we've got G major, D major, and then A minor. And then the next time around the sequence, we've got G major, D major, and then the C major. Okay, and the strumming is the G to the D is one bar. And it's a four four time song, so each chord lasts two beats. One, two, change, three, four, change to the A minor. One, two, three, four. So that A minor stays for a whole bar, so we've got four beats there. Again, G, two beats. One, two, D, two beats. Three, four, A minor, the whole of the bar. One, And you'll see that at the moment I'm doing it with all downstrokes, as this is the first section of, of looking at uh, Knock on Heaven's Door. And it's as easy as G, D, A minor, G, D, C. And it just alternates like that in the verse. Okay, now when we come to the chorus uh, uh, for this little version, it just stays to the G, D and C. But what I've done is I've set up quite a crunchy sound on the guitar and then I've backed off, I think you can see it there, backed off the volume a little bit to give a, a sort of slightly distorted, overdriven sound. Then when we get to the verse, all I've got to do is wind that up to about eight and then... gives a more aggressive uh, approach uh, to the chorus. But what I'm doing here is, well, I'm changing the rhythm slightly where one hit on the G, one hit on the D, and then two on the C. So instead of um, playing it on every count, what I'm doing is the G is one, two, D, three, four, then the C, one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's basically it. Um, four chords, all nice, uh, straightforward open ones, uh, but perhaps a little bit of a change for you because of that lovely G. I mean, if you wanted to play uh, a normal, what I call this bog standard G, you can. It doesn't sound quite as rich to my ears. Um, and you have to then just get a D in, but it's, it's down to you. No hard and fast rules here. So, G, D, A minor, G, D, C. And then we change for the verse bit. Um, in the next lesson, um, we'll be looking at uh, changing the rhythm slightly, but uh, keeping to open chords for now. Hope you enjoyed this bit. 
hopefully see you for part two.